Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we will describe a fractional part of a whole. What fraction of the pizza did Becca eat if she ate three slices? We need to figure out the numerator. The numerator stands for how many slices Becca ate. We know that Becca ate three slices, so the numerator is three. The denominator is the total number of slices. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The denominator must be eight. So we know that Becca ate three eighths of the pizza. Now, how many slices are still left? We can say that one, two, three, four, five, five out of eight total slices. So five eighths of the pizza are still left. What fraction of the pie did Mark eat if he ate one slice? First, we need to figure out the numerator. The numerator stands for how many slices were eaten. We know that Mark ate one slice, so the numerator will have to be one. Now we need our fraction bar. The denominator is the total number of slices. Let's check how many slices this pie has. One, two, three, four, five, six. The denominator will have to be six. So Mark ate one sixth of the pie. Let's figure out what fraction of the pie is still left to eat. One, two, three, four, five. Five out of six total slices. So five sixths of the pie is still left to eat. What fraction of the cheesecake did Adam eat if he ate three slices? We need to figure out the numerator. Remember, the numerator stands for how many slices Adam ate. We know that he ate three slices. And now we need the fraction bar. The denominator is a total number of slices. We know this cheesecake has one, two, three, four total slices. So Adam ate three fourths of the cheesecake. How much of the cheesecake is still left to eat? We can say that one fourth of the cheesecake is still left. Mm -hmm.